In HealthWorks this morning, you know you can get purifiers to clean the air in your home, but did you know there are plants that actually can clean toxic chemicals from the air in your house? Joining us this morning is Dr. Noreen Khan Mayberry. We call her the Tox Doc around here. Good, Good morning, morning to you. How are you, Melissa? I'm fantastic because I love being surrounded by these gorgeous plants, but they, they serve wonderful? a purpose too. Yeah, that's what's so great about them is because I'm always talking about the dose making the poison uh -huh. and not bringing chemicals into your home, but you can actually use these plants to help remove move and reduce some of that dosage. All right, it has to be the right plant, just yes. not any of them. Not so just let's just plant. start with this one. This is, okay. it looks just like a beautiful ivy. It has right. a special name to it. Pothus. That is the pothos plant or pothos, however you want to uh, describe it, but it will remove vol volatile organic chemicals from the air, benzene, It'll also help convert um, carbon dioxide into oxygen. So it's a great plant. It also removes formaldehyde, and we've got a lot of that in our mm -hmm. sealants around the home. So the pothos plant is great. You see it practically everywhere, and so it's a really low maintenance plant, wonderful to have. I'm wondering what this plant is up to over here. This yes. is known as the mother-in-law's tongue. What yes. an interesting name. Hopefully you like your mother-in-law. <laughs> yes, but our mother-in-law is very helpful to us in this uh -huh. situation as well because she also helps convert carbon dioxide into oxygen at night, which is wonderful. So this is great to have in your bedroom. You don't always want your mother-in-law in your bedroom, <laughs> but you want this plant in there. It removes f formaldehyde and also nitrogen oxide. So it's a wonderful plant to have. Well, if you like flowers, you're in luck because yes. this beautiful orange one will help yes, you out of it. Yes, yes, the Gerber daisy comes in all colors if you don't like orange. So the Gerber daisy is awesome because it also removes a lot of the cleaning products, a lot of the volatiles that are in the cleaning products, benzene and trichlorothane. So I love the Gerber daisy. Pretty. Uh, oh yeah, mm -hmm. very pretty. I also like the way the peace lily looks. It's such Wonderful. a beautiful plant. And, I, and I've had these most of my life, but I right. never knew it had so, so much power to it. Well, you know, another good thing about uh, the peace lily, besides moving all the volatiles and mm -hmm. the, the benzene and trichlorothane, it also removes a lot of mold. So some people call the peace lily the bathroom plant. Mm -hmm. So if you're, you know, in an office building or you have a bathroom, you know, keep a peace lily in there and it's wonderful. I think it's well known and easy to define by when you look at the beautiful yes, white leaves. that leaf. so beautiful the, white leaf is just signature for the okay. peace lily. And we don't want to leave this guy out down here. Tell me about yes, this Yes, that's the red edge dracania. The red edge dracania is a wonderful plant um, as well as its cousin, the spider plant, because it will remove carbon monoxide from the air. It also gets rid of formaldehyde and volatile organic compounds, and it's low maintenance. So that's a good thing. You know, some of these plants, you have to pay attention to, you know, how to maintain the plants, but these are pretty low maintenance plants. And you need a, a one for every 100 square foot of, of space that you're living or, or working in. So that's well. quite a few plants. So you can't yes. just get one and say it's going to take care of the whole house. That's right. We're out of time. Quickly want to yes. ask you about English ivy. It's powerful. English too. ivy is wonderful because it also removes benzene and it's very, very cute, easy. And you want about a six inch container. Do not cover the soil with rocks because you'll lower the root efficiency for removing these um, chemicals. Well, but keep good. them away from your pets and kids because it can be toxic. Okay, Dr. Noreen Khan Mayberry. Oh, good to see you. our talk stock in the house. Thank you so and much. And now we have a beautiful air purifier, Jose. Yes. What a deal. Yes. Yeah, what?